Oh yes, the Mark III has been born. This is my auto air assist that I'm working on. This is just being driven by a servo tester. So inside there is a standard radio controlled hobby servo. They're very cheap. Um, it's got the standard on off valve that you may already have on your air system, but there's two of them down here. So the idea is that I will be in the new year depending where you're, when you're watching this video, get auto air assist on my Ray 5 12 volt version. The new 24 volt version has this already. So this is spurring me on to get this code rewritten over the Christmas break to get it working. So what is it gonna do? Well, this valve here will control the cut. So this microcontroller will get a signal from Lightburn and when it gets a signal to cut, it'll open this valve. So that's shut at the moment, that's open there. And then when uh, Lightburn says, I don't want cutting, this valve will shut, and, but this valve will open at the moment, they're just motoring backs and forwards. So the reason I'm doing that is because it's not a good idea to almost close these valves at, when using a little pond pump because they get quite warm so the idea being is this will never be closed it will always be partially open sending air into your nozzle so protecting the lens at all time so on cutting it'll be fully open so you get full air pressure when you're saying no so when you're engraving this will be partially open, just letting a trickle of air going down through the nozzle to protect your lens. Now this one will be fully open, or we can adjust where these gears mesh to get a different ratio between fully open and fully closed. Now this one, what I'm thinking is, we can use the air coming out of here, so when you're not calling for air, this will be fully open, this will just be trickling, so I'm thinking getting another air pipe, not going straight down like the nozzle does, but pushing this at an angle underneath the diode laser. So it's blowing air, more air than your extract fan would be sucking to try and clear any debris when you're engraving, especially when you're engraving slate. Anyway, let me know what you think. If you're a coder, yeah, I could, I could always use a hand coding because I do find it difficult. Anyway, that's Andy. Join me on my main channel. The main code's going to be over there. Cheers for now.